Good afternoon, everyone, and happy St. Mark's Day. It is the Saturday of Easter too, but it's also the 25th of April, which is the day in which the evangelist, St. Mark, is commemorated. And we'll use as our order of service responsive prayer two on page 285. O oh Lord, open my lips. And my mouth will declare your praise. Make haste, O oh God, to deliver me. Make haste to help me, O oh Lord. Glory, Glory be to, to the, the Father, and, and to the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was, was in the beginning, beginning is, is now, now, and, and will, will be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. The reading today is from St. Mark's Gospel, the longer ending to the Gospel. It is uh, chapter 16 beginning with verse 14. Afterward, Jesus appeared to the eleven as they sat at the table, and he rebuked their unbelief and hardness of heart, because they did not believe those who had seen him after he had risen. And he said to them, Go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. He who believes and is baptized will be saved and he who does not believe will be condemned. And these signs will follow those who believe. In my name, they will cast out demons. They will speak with new tongues. They will take up serpents, and if they drink anything deadly, it will by no means hurt them. They will lay hands on the sick, and they will recover. So then, after the Lord had spoken to them, he was received up into heaven and sat down at the right hand of God, and they went out and preached everywhere, the Lord working with them and confirming the word through the accompanying signs. Amen. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. St. Mark is an interesting character. Um, I think particularly young people might find him fascinating. He was at the time of Jesus' ministry in his early, possibly mid-teens, but we know he was that young because of his later career. His gospel, which contains a lot of the same material that we have in Matthew and Luke, was uh, said to be dictated to him by St. Peter. Earlier in his career, Mark, who was also known as John Mark, John being his Jewish name and Marcus being his Roman name, John Mark was possibly a nephew of Barnabas, or an elder of Barnabas was his older cousin. In any case, Barnabas was um, on his side when he chose not to, uh, when he chose to return home to Jerusalem uh, in the, on the first missionary journey of St. Paul. We don't know why young John Mark chose to do this, but he did. Um, all we know is that it, it was, uh, Barnabas was standing up for Mark and Paul was against taking Mark on the second missionary journey. So actually, Paul and Barnabas broke up over this, and not that they hated each other, but they, they could no longer be the team that they were. And so what happened was St. Peter became the apostle that worked most closely with Mark, not St. Paul. As I said, Mark's gospel contains a lot of the same material as Matthew and Luke, but there are some interesting different bits. For example, for, the, for um, anyone's guess, in the Garden of Gethsemane story, it is St. Mark who records that a certain young man wearing only a towel was grabbed by some men and he fled naked, leaving them holding the towel. 
that really doesn't have anything to do with any of the other things that happen in the Garden of Gethsemane. And some suggest that because it's only in St. Mark's Gospel, that this was the boy, Mark, who went to Gethsemane for some reason, possibly to warn Jesus of what was happening. And he got up from his bed, just wrapped a, a cloth around him, maybe a bed sheet or something. And uh, that's all he had over his naked body. And then when they grabbed that, he fled naked from the scene. Um, just one of those little strange stories that, that come up. St. Mark, after the deaths of Peter and Paul, according to tradition, became a bishop in um, a part of the Roman world that is modern day Egypt, Alexandria. And uh, it was there that he died. And eventually, the, uh, when the Egypt, Egypt was reconquered by the, in the Crusades, uh, for a moment, they were able to take his remains to Venice, where um, the cathedral in St. Mark's in Venice uh, contains his remains to this day. We won't get into the longer ending of Mark, except to say that these words certainly do um, ring out to us as missionaries where we have from Jesus, as recorded only in Mark, Mark's version of the Great Commission, as it's called, where Jesus says, go into the world and preach the gospel to every creature. He who believes and is baptized will be saved, but he who does not believe will be condemned. So here we have a mention of baptism as in the ending of Matthew, but with a difference, he who believes and is baptized will be saved. And that is the foundation for our own personal salvation, that uh, because of that sacrament being, uh, being applied to us, all that Jesus accomplished when he died on the cross and he rose again to redeem the world, we know is applied to us. We believe we are baptized, we are saved. And we go into all the world and proclaim the gospel to every creature, especially human beings. Let us turn to our prayers at the bottom of page 285. O Lord, have mercy. O Christ, have mercy. O Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Hear my prayer, O Lord. Let my cry come to you. In the day of my trouble, I call upon you. For you answer me. Hide your face from my sins. Create in me a clean heart, O God. And renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence. And take not your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation. And uphold me with a willing spirit. Because your steadfast love is better than life. My lips will praise you. For you have been my help. And in the shadow of your wings I will sing for joy. 
Teach me your way, O Lord, that I may walk in your truth. Unite my heart to hear your name. I give thanks to you, O Lord my God, with my whole heart. And I will glorify your name forever. May all who seek you rejoice and be glad in you. May those who love your salvation say evermore, God is great. Save your people and bless your heritage. By their shepherd, be their shepherd and carry them forever. Give ear, O Lord, to my prayer. Listen to my plea for grace. We pray, Almighty God, you have enriched your church with the proclamation of the gospel through the evangelist St. Mark. Grant that we may firmly believe these glad tidings and daily walk according to your word through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. O Lord God, Almighty Father, graciously behold your children in this time of distress all over the world. Give your strength and your blessing to those who trust in you as we look to you Faithfully hear our prayers in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord bless us, defend us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. The hymn this afternoon is From All That Dwell Below the Skies. It's 816, 800 and 16 in the Lutheran service book. From all that dwell below the skies, let the Creator's praise arise. Alleluia, alleluia. Let the Redeemer's name be sung. Through every land, by every tongue, Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Eternal are thy mercies, Lord. Eternal truth attends thy word. Alleluia, alleluia. Thy praise shall sound from shore to shore. Till sun shall rise and set no more. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. All praise to God the Father be, all praise eternal Son to thee. Alleluia, Alleluia. Oh, with the Spirit we adore, forever and forevermore. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Have a happy day. Bye.